I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello to one and all. Welcome back. To another speedy tutorial my name is speedy um just want to say thank you all for um watching um my last video i know it's what i know it wasn't much but it was about the update there um i'm not 100 percent sure if that was the update that everybody was talking about or we are still waiting on it um, I just wanted to show everybody on the update that I received. As soon as I turned on my computer, it started update. So, I didn't know if that was the update or if that was just an update. So, I'm not seeing anything yet on it. Um, now, I do still presume that it is a... I am still presuming that it is a uh online update all right so just keep your hands on the swivel okay because um we don't know when this major update's coming so you know i thought it was it there the other day it might have been it might have not so i don't know it just might have been just an update in general so i just want to tell you all that uh, if you watch that uh last video i just posted not long ago about the update um just keep your head head on the swivel okay let's get into today's tutorial and and hopefully this here won't take too long but you know you know it is what it is too and i appreciate you all um coming by look looking at this video as i am trying to restore my lspdfr before a major update actually comes, all right? Okay, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you all how to save everything over to the external hard drive, okay? And if you um, go to your um, file explorer, um, go ahead and click on, um, if you got it under the pen, quick SS, click on Grand Theft Auto 5. If you don't know the pathway to it, I'm going to show you. Go to um, open up the file explorer, which is the um, folder. Go to whatever drive you got it in. Uh, mine's in C. Go to program type program files times eighty six. Go to Steam. Go to Steam apps. Go to Common. And if you hold it right there and just click on that once, right click and go to pin to quick access. All right, and that should Bring it right over here on the side column that looks like a bobby pin or a pin. All right. So when you get done pinning that one over, just go ahead and click on Grand Theft Auto 5 and that will bring up the new, that will bring up your main directory. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring up our external hard drive. Go here, go right click, go right click on your external hard drive, which mine is Dean. Go to open a new window. I'm going to split mine up into two pages. My external hard drive is going to be on the left. The Grand Theft Auto is going to be on the right. So here we go. So here we go right here. All right. Now, um, mine's already saved. All right. Mine's already saved. And, and it's under the first tutorial, LSPDFR2944. That is the version that, that I am still in. Or you all should be still in too. If not, let me know. Let me know, okay? Let me know in the comment if y'all took an upgrade or not, because because I didn't because it had a had an update there the other night and I didn't uh, took it and then didn't upgrade nothing. As far as I know, 
So let me know in the comments, okay? So I lot to hear from you. I lot to hear from you all. Let me let me let me know how I'm doing. You think I have deserved the trust? Hit that um, like button, and if you want to see more of LSPDFR tutorials by me or an episode, I'm trying to get into the episode, but I'm trying to upload everything as I go. Um, back in, hit that subscribe button, and you will know when I get one out there to you all, okay? So, what you're going to do now is you're going to come up back over here to your main guy directory. All right, hit left control, A as an atom, right click, go to copy. All right, and then whatever you got your uh, external hard drive in, and if you got it named, Whatever you named it, mine's going to be under first tutorial, LSPDFR. Go ahead and click on whatever folder you got it in. And right here is all of my um, first tutorials right here. All right. That's all my first tutorials right here. All right. If you left click, hit, I'm sorry, hit left control, A's and app, add them, right click, and it's froze up on me. Man, I hate it when it does that. And if you right click and go to paste, it will stop cop start copying your files over. All right. Now, if it ever does that update, guys, I will show you all how to come back over here to your external hard drive and move the files that you need to move back over here to revert back down to two nine four four. When it's ready, okay. But you got, you've already got your files saved over here in your external hard drive. All right. Okay. Once you guys get done doing that, come on back in, and we will pick up today's tutorial. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back in to another Speedy tutorial. My name is Speedy, and this is what we're going to be doing next today. It is going to be click on the link down below. And it's going to be the Blaine County Traffic Lights and Signs by Trooper A, 1886. 1886. Um, thank you, thank you for this, uh, Trooper A. I still use this in my game a lot. Um, I don't, um, I don't know how many other people that still uses it, but I still use it in my game. And let's go down here, and it was submitted on March 1st of 2021. And it was up, the last time it was updated was July 19th, 2022, which still works for this um, version of LSPDFR. So if you go ahead and click on download, and it will take you automatically into the download page. And once you get done down, down, doing that, simply close out and come on back up and drag, drag this one, drag your um, Rimwire. That's what I use to open up my files. Or your 7-Zip, bring it out here to your desktop, and let's go ahead and drop that fish in line. Let's go ahead and hook her, let's go ahead and hook her in. <coughs> Alright, now, <coughs> now what we're going to do is we, we need our open four. Alright, we need our open four. Everybody go ahead and open that up and click on the Grand Theft Auto 5 for Windows for Open IV. All right, everybody go ahead and click on it, let it load, and go ahead and click on the Blaine County Traffic Lights and Signs 2.1 in your room wire or 7-zip. I don't know nothing about 7-zip, guys. I, this is, this is, room wire is what I use to open up my files. And if you see this right here pop up by any chance, it's free. Don't worry about it. I'm not paid, I'm not paid one dime out of mine yet. And hopefully I'll never will. Just come over here and just simply just X out. Now, now what we're going to do is um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring up the readme.readme.txt. Go ahead and bring that up. I went ahead just a little bit ahead and went ahead and brought it up because I don't know why it loads up so slow on my notepad, but it does. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this up into three pages today. Three pages. All right. Let's see. I'm going to put my uh, open four on the top right. I'm going to put my rimoire, um 
the uh, top open eye vein on the top left. Blaine County traffic lights and sirens, rim wires going to be on the top right. And my ring mate is going to be on the bottom right. All right. So we we'll know exactly what we're doing. All right. Now, what we're going to do is there's several pathways we have to follow on this. Okay. But the first thing I want you guys to do is I want you to go ahead and bring up, go back into your room wire when, or 7-zip. Go to single player. Click on the single player. All right, and go ahead and click on the BCTLS. You'll see a DLC.RPL. All right, now you're going to hold it right there. Come back over here till you open four. And if you've been following me, um, if you've been following me, make sure your edit mode is on. If you if you don't know how to uh, leave edit mode on, go to tools, go to Options, if yours says read only, just simply click up, go to edit, go to close. you always been in, be in edit mode. Now, now, um, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install this BCTLS. All right, we're going to install this whole folder. And the pathway to get there is right here, all right? And... Really, you just need to. I'm your remain. So I know it says um, programs file, files times 86. You might be able to do that. Well, what I don't understand is I don't know why it says program tiles file 86. Try to get into your uh, open IV. Um, this is uh, open IV that I'm doing. I don't know if you can actually. Go through and put it into your um, games folder or not and under your um, uh, main directory. But I didn't want to chance that. So that's the reason why I'm going with the open four. It works the same way. Just remember, your open your open IV is your back door to your front door of your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. Okay? So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Go to mods. Go to update. Time 64 DLC packs. Alright. You're going into your DLC packs. And if you ain't got it in your favorite shit, just um, click on favorites. Go to add the favorites and simply whatever name it whatever you want so you know where your DLC packs is. Mine's already named. I just named it simply DLC packs in all caps. Alright. So now what we're going to do is go back over here to your rim wire or 7-zip. Like I said, I do not know anything know about 7-zip. Come over here to your BCTLS. Grab this whole folder. Not the PAVS folder. Not that one. But the, the BCTLS folder. Come over here. Put it in your open four. One, two, three. Let it rip. Just like that right there. Now, if you scroll all the way down here to the bottom, there it is right there, your BCTLS. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on it real quick. Go to go to DLC.RPL. Go to Time64. Go to Levels, GTA, and every bit of this, every, and every bit of this is right here. You can check it out if you want to, but I'm already checked out, and it's um, all it is. Now, all it is is just the Y maps and stuff like that. So we're good on that. So now what we're going to do is, if you have done all that or not, go over, over here to File, go to Close All uh, Archives. Now, if you simply, if you've done named your Add the Favorites on the DLC packs, and if you see the BCTLS, it's appetized for you, all right? A, B, C, D, E. You know, that's... You know, that's what I'm talking about when I say appetize. All right. So now what we're going to do is there's another pathway we have to go to. And this is it right here. All right. This is going to go. Um, This is your PAPS folder right here. Okay. This is your next step. So go to back into mods. Go to update. 
go to update.rpl, go to time 64, go to levels, go to GTA 5, and then paths.rpl. All right. See all these nodes right here? All these nodes? All right. Now, okay, before we go any further on this, I'm going to show you all how to actually save your original nodes right here okay all these original nodes all right come down here somewhere on your desktop go left click right click go to new folder all right simply name it whatever you want so you'll know mine's going to be bc t l s Nodes, open IV, do not delete. That will tell me right there that I do not need to delete this folder because these are the original nodes. All right. Now what you're going to do is go to, uh, go back up here to your open four, hit left control, A's and app, add them. Right click and go to extract. All right. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the desktop and right there where it says nodes, make sure you select on the folder on whatever you, um, whatever you named it. Okay. Whatever you named it. Mine's named this. Go to select folder and we'll it'll automatically bring it down here. And then I'm going to open that up, and there is all the nodes right there. That's the original nodes from, that's the original nodes from the open IV, open IV. All right, I'm going to simply close that out. Now, when you get done doing that, you can save this over to your external hard drive. All right, so whatever you got your external hard drive in, go to D. Mine's in D, or whatever letter you got it in. Um, I'm already got some made down here. My, my says um, original files from OpenIV, and you can bring it over here. Make sure it says copy to your external hard drive, all right? We're going to go ahead and just copy that in real quick, and that's how you save all that right there, all right? Now, when you're done doing that, or if you didn't, if you did it, close out of your external hard drive, or you can just leave it in your desktop or however you guys want to do it okay however you guys want to do it all right now come back over here to your paths folder click on the paths right here all of these nodes is going to come over here to your open um open iv all right this here this over here and your room wire or seven zip is going to is going to make the traffic stop okay this right here is going to make the traffic stop so, go back over here to your Rimoire or 7-Zip. Hit left control, A's and Apple. Come up here and deselect by using left control and your left, and your left click on your mouse. Deselect those two dots. You do not need those two dots over here on Open 4 because it will mess you up. Alright, now come over here. Back over to your Rimoire, 7-Zip. Come over here. Back over here to your open four from 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 your rim wire or seven zip to your open four and then let it drop just like that. And while it's thinking and it don't take a second to do right there. So we are done with that. All right. Now there's one more pathway we have to go. Okay. I want to go back up here. I'm gonna go back up here and we're gonna you click your arrow button one time, go up one level if you're using um, rim water or salmon zip. Like I said, I have no idea. Go click on that folder just one time, highlight the BCTLS folder. All right, now we're going to go into our DLC list. All right, that is your next. And as soon as I can get it right there. That's highlighted right there. That's what we're going to go to next. So come back over here to open four. 
close all archives. Now, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and go into our DLC list. Go to Mods. Go to Update. Update RPL. Common. And then Data. Alright. Now, you get, when you get here, if you've not saved it yet, go to Favorites. <coughs> go to Add the Favorites. And simply name it DLC List. Alright. Mine's already saved, or whatever you want to name it, alright? Mine's under, I'll show you, mine's under DLC list right there, alright? Now, what we're going to do is, this is the tricky part on what I've been saying, because you really got to pay attention to this part. This is how we turn um, on or activate the Ashenal, um BL, BL, BLTLS, BCTLS. Um, folder that's going to activate in the game. Click on the DLC dot DLC list dot XML. Right click, go to edit. All right, scroll all the way down here to the bottom. All right, whatever this last line is, whatever this last line is, you're going to highlight that whole last line from the greater than sign to the less than sign, or from the from the left arrow to the right arrow. However you guys want to call it. Right click and go to copy. Alright. Click in, click on. Click click one time to bring up your uh, blinker. On your, um, on your DLC XML. Once you do that. Go make sure you're on the. On the right arrow or the. Or the less than sign, or where, where I'm at, and click enter one time, you're going to make a new line. Alright? Hit left control, these and Victor, or right, cl right click and paste. Alright? Right there. Go ahead and we're going to go to the. We're going to go ahead and delete the two four slashes. No, I take that back. We're going to leave the four slashes. Whatever you got right here. Alright. Whatever you got right here. It's the LAF. Mine's going to be the LAFA 2K underscore Avenue. Which is the billboard. Which is the city billboards. Alright. You're going to go. You're going to highlight that letter or number. And I'm, you're just going to simply just come over here. And just go. Uh, drag it all the way over. But leave the four slashes, all right? Click backspace when you get done. Right, right there. Boom. The only, you should see now just the two four slashes right here. Come up here to your rimoir. Hit F2. Hit F2 on the BTCLS. Make sure you highlight it. Click on one time the BCTLS. Hit F2. Go command, uh, left control, C's and Charlie. Alright. Come back down here and bring your cursor between the two four slashes. Just like that right there. Hit left control, V's and Victor to paste in that BC, BCTLS. Alright. After you get done doing that, click on save. All right. Now, what you're going to do is double, just double click on the DLC dots XML. Just double click it real quick. Come all the way down here to the bottom, and it's right here. Okay, and it's right there. All right. So there you go, right there. It is installed. I'm going to give you all in-game showcase, and it's um, I forgot to do the timestamp at first. The timestamp for doing all this here up to now. Is Sunday, September seventeenth, twenty twenty-three, at four forty-two p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I on where I live at. All right. So what we're going to do now is just close everything out, close out the Remi, close out of the Rimoir or Seven Sip, and then close out of your DLC list XML, and and go to File. Go to close archives and open four and simply close out. 
Now, what you're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is you're going to go ahead and restart your computer. I recommend for everybody to restart their computer before you guys do anything. And, and once we get back, um, we'll go ahead. I'll give you an in-game short. I'll give you in-game short showcase of your Blaine County traffic lights and signs. We'll be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to one and all to the in-game showcase of the Blaine County um, Red Lights and Signs. As we just installed our Blaine County Red Lights and Signs, welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you for so much for uh, watching this video, and I hope I hope I'm hoping to help you guys out as I am still installing my game as well but like i said i'm just doing it because i just want to show you all what i do how i do it and it, it is a tutorial too but you know like i said most of the time i get just bored sitting around the house so this is something for me to do and i'm actually enjoying this i'm actually doing it so if you think i am well deserving enough to hit that like button uh, go ahead and hit that like and and leave me a comment let me know how i am doing and just let me know how i am doing and if you guys really want to see more of me um uh, more of my tutorials and i am really trying to get my lspdfr back in the shape where it needs to be um hit that subscribe button and you'll know when i'll do and it's free it's free of charge i i don't think it costs anything to hit that subscribe button so let me say this one more time i thank you 110 percent of watching this video and i'm hoping to help you all out at the same time i really do and i'm going to go ahead and go ahead and get everything spawned in and, you know, I do it from start to finish because I do not want to leave you guys hanging by no means, alright? I don't want to leave you guys hanging by no means. And, and I'm going to go ahead and spawn right into um, Sandy Shores here. And I'm going to go ahead. You don't have to be on the word duty, but I'm going to go, ahead and go on duty anyway. Just for the fun of it, just for, you know, just for the fun of it. And while everything's loading and everything, um, just like I said, I thank you, thank you once again. And I'm going to go ahead and spawn my vehicle into as well. And, and the vehicle I'm going to be spawning in is the, is the, the county of where I live at. All right, it's the same replica car as the uh, as the one here in Knox County, and this here was made by Michael Five O. Michael Five O. He has got a YouTube channel. I will leave his description down on down below. He this guy's great on what he does and this is where i got this vehicle from and and i will leave a link in the description um down below on his discord and and he and he also he also does this too as well you have to get with him and we'll find out what he does but uh, he done an episode with this uh with this vehicle and I thought he done a really, really great job with it, alright? 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and spawn my uh, clothes in the one I use, which is which is this one right here, and I'm going to hop in the vehicle here and. I'm going to show you all stage three lightning real quick. I'm going to take the time down for a minute. I'm going to take the time down to, we'll say in the afternoon. I'll make it about, right, about 20, 48. I'm going to freeze the time. Here's stage three lightning for this car real quick. There's stage one. Stage two. And full stage three. This is all stage three lightning car right here. But um, I know I know we didn't come in here to uh, do this. Let's look at let's look at what we did today. And which is the Blaine County Sheriff of uh, Blaine County um, red lights and signs. So let's go up here. Go up here first, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. There's your Blaine County red lights. Traffic lights is on top of that too as well. And we'll see if it stops right here for traffic. And that one just ran a red light and that one is stopped as well. There's one, I think there's a total of five, maybe. I'll have to go around and see if I can find the other two. Right, right up here is one. Right up here. Yep, right up here is one. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speed up a little bit here. I'm going to cheat a little bit here. And I'm going to go right here. That That's two of them. And I know there's one right up here that makes three. Right up here's three. And they're all stopped. And you can tell the crosswalk signs actually works too as well. There's your person walking. There you that is working too. That is so cool. I'm telling you. And I still use this in my game a lot. I really do. And the one, the, and the, the other one I'm going to show you is right here along Route 68. And right here is the other one as you're going back into Polito Bay as well. Or is this uh, Route 3? I think it's 68. I haven't played this game in so long. I forget, I forget, I forget the routes. <laughs> but uh, as you can tell, the rep, the, they're stopping. They're stopping. And everything's working without any crashes. So, there's a Los Santos uh, police right there. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for me. Let's go ahead and before I do that, let me go ahead and move it down the night and see how well it does during the night. And that's the morning hours of five. Let's go down here to the Ashton night. You just called me a fucker. Oh, well, anyway, um, right here is it. And I tell you, it looks good at night, guys. It really does. So... Triple A, 1886. I pre appreciate you on what you did. This is this is an awesome call out. Not call out. Awesome plug in in my book, and I do really do appreciate this plug in so much. And guys, I am gonna, I am gonna be, um, um I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night get this uploaded and you, and you all have a good night or or have a good day and 
and we will see you on the next one, and we are going, going, go. Peace out.